So at the start of 2023, I released a video about a specific mod pack, uh, which is a massive overhaul for Satisfactory. And today, and going forward, I want to explore that mod pack further. A lot of you guys have requested it, so I'm delivering it. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I didn't want to do it until after 1.0 was released. Well, today we are going to officially start it. We are going to officially start playing it. And a lot of years before you hit the comment section are wondering what's happening with the previous save. Well, do not worry. That is continuing. I'm just regathering all the footage and rebuilding and restructurizing that current video that is going to be dropping soon, which is going to be between one hour to two hours in length. Yes, it's going to be a long boy. And that is something I kind of want to science and experiment going further to see if you guys are interested in longer form videos when it comes to Satisfactory and some of the content I produce. Because yes, as much as it is sometimes to get the answer straight to the point with chop, 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 chop within the edit, I feel like sometimes the personality can get lost within the edit or the playthrough. And... I want to experience in science with some other structures. So hopefully you support that stack kind of stuff and make sure if you do, let me know in the comment section. But today I want to start with the hub. We're going to be playing with Satisfactory Plus. It is a mod pack. Everything you see in this is going to be drastically different. That is everything from the milestones to uh, machine parts to all this kind of stuff. And if you have seen the previous video, you will know kind of what to expect. But some things have changed and we want to go further than what we did last time. Because that video I did wasn't part of a Let's Play. It was part of a feature, a little bit of a mod highlight. And this mod deserves the spotlight because it is really, really good. And you might notice, and some of you will mention it in the comments, it is very similar to what a mod was in Factorio, especially with the name change, the names and all this kind of stuff. So, without further ado, let's start this brand new playthrough. Hopefully you will enjoy it. I'm not going to say this much. Hopefully you, you like the video, you subscribe, and also leave comments going forward. So without further ado, let's start this playthrough and see where we're beginning, which is going to be Hub Upgrade 1, which we can already see Equipment Workshop, Portable Miner, Iron Wire, and Inventory Slots. It's going to require uh, 10 Iron Rods which we're going to need this up here, which is usually an iron node. And right now it is a node that is called Styrotite. So we're gonna get rid of this by hitting the good old E button on this. Uh, and remember, if you are wanting to see, you know, very, very raw gameplay of what this is, make sure to check out my VOD channel. When this video goes live, I should have released about 35 videos, which are all half an hour long of the behind the scenes of how I build these videos. I create save checkpoints to come back to later when I go into recording mode so I can load them. Kind of like what you do at Christmas or if you watch a, like, like a, a cooking show, they'll get a turkey that you'll see them stuff it. But apparently in the space of 30 seconds, they've already cooked the turkey. Hopefully that is a good analogy. So what you're seeing is me redoing some things I've already done just to kind of get the ball moving and help me out in post-production to get videos out faster. So we have another ore here, which is sapphirite. This is kind of like the whole copper down the route, but I am learning this mod myself. So what you're watching is, you know, it is going to be a learning experience for both of us. But right now, we need to make some iron rods. So we are going to be doing some handcrafting. So first, we're going to need to get the styrotite and make it into crushed styrotite. So we're going to break that down. And then we're going to turn that into sloppy iron ingots. And then once we've done that, we can then turn it into iron rods. So technically, there's, you know, one additional step we need. Normally, we'll get iron ore and turn it into iron ingots, not sloppy iron ingots. And then we'll turn that into plates and rods. So we now have got this. We're going to make some rods. We only need 10. So we're just going to make a little handful. And then we're going to get iron plates. 
and just make a couple of them as well because no more than likely we're going to need that so this is going to be a whole new journey and i'm excited for it i'm looking forward to it i've played many hours to be precise over 11,000 hours yes you've heard that correct you can work that on a calculator and know how many years that is i played this game non-stop for many many hours from 12 to 18 hour live streams in my early days of being known as bits um to being where i am today uh, and we want to put the rods in there and it's 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 a crazy journey and it, it's good that 1.0 is soon to be released and i'm looking forward to it i might get emotional when i see the trailer when it drops uh, this game has been my pride and joy for many years now and it might be the same for you as well you oh hi Ada. building workshop Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional, additional slots, slots. Hub feature, feature, personal, personal storage. storage. Okay, we're going to skip you. So Hub Upgrade 2 is going to give us the scanner upgrade for Sapphire. So we can now scan it. We can build the smell to power lines, cross uh, sarafite, copper ingots, copper rods, wires, and cables. So let's select that. Uh, so right now we need rods. So let's put our rods in there. Let's put our plates in there. We do need to make a few more rods, which I do need to get some more sarafite. Um... And yeah, so let's go and get some more of this. And I need some iron wire. And iron wire is made from iron rods. So we need to grab some more of this. Then break it down into more crushed styrotite. Then into more ingots. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. You're kind of catching the drift what's happening right now. And we're going to need some more rods. And then them rods we need to make into iron right, uh, wire. So obviously when I make this wire, it's going to reduce the rods I have. But I need 15 of that. We've got 22. Let's make some more additional rods. And then let's send that one off. This is going to be very, very a slow paced playthrough because it is going to be something I want you guys to experience with me and learning and going through these hub parts. Normally, it's the same old, same stuff, right? I'll go from here to this, to this, to this. I'll make many, many cuts, many, many stuff, which is a new direction I'm trying to change from. I want to make it a bit more slower. I want to make it a bit more understanding, like I stated. All right, Eddie, shh, 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 shh. We're good for you. So now, Hub Tier 3 is going to give us the constructor, the power pole, concrete, screws, reinforced iron plates, and crushed stone. So crushed stone is going to be a byproduct um, of the crusher um which we don't have unlocked yet but screws oh my god screws are a bane of my life and so what i've played of this mod so far it's in near enough everything so we are going to need more iron we're going to need uh, need more copper so we don't uh well actually let's get the equipment workshop down let's head into here and let's make some portable miners so i need more rods have i got any more rods to make i can't really make more i need to get some more blinking stereotype Body, you're a young man, hard man. Yeah, we all sing it. Just let it be, all right? <laughs> and then we can crush that down again. And then we are going to make some more iron ingots. And then I can make some more rods. And then we should be able to make the little miners. And then I want to kind of get up and set up our little smelters off the get-go and use the biomass burners on the back of this to get a little bit more productive because we don't want to be handcrafting for the rest of our bloody lives. So I need to quickly grab some more plates here. So I need to make some more sloppy ingots. I'm just going to make about 20 more iron plates just so then I can get some more miners. Precisely two more miners. So one, two, bada bing, bada bosh. And then we can grab these, place them on here. Two on there to be precise. And then two more on there. And as you might tell, yes, I'm in passive mode, which means if I attack them, they'll attack back. But right now, it just kind of fills the world with a bit of life. So let's put them on there and get them underway. And then in the meantime, I'm going to just basically grab some of this, grab some of this, break it down. And I'll be back with you once I've got a little bit of iron plates and iron rods to kind of start working with. So after getting a few items ready, I can then start adding these to our um, hub. We can then unlock the next phase, and then we start working on hub upgrade three. So that's going to give us rubite, which if I'm not mistaken, rubite replaces all of the limestone nodes. So there's no more limestone nodes uh, available in the actual game now. We actually get rubite which in turn makes us tin, which is tin ingots, tin plates, 
crush through bites, and we also now unlock the crusher. Also, as well as, you know, the belts and the poles, which we're kind of used to. So let's start working on this milestone. So we need to get 10 reinforced plates, we need to get some wire, and we also need some... You have unlocked um, feature, it's, it, it, my brain, you make my brain go what, crazy. So I need 10 of them, I also need some cable, which I need 20 of, and I also need to get some rubite. And for me to do that, we do need to make some more little miners, so we're going to head into here. We're going to get two more of these, uh, like so. We're then going to head over to our rubite, which is over here. Actually, I don't have it scanned yet, do I? I don't. Because I need to unlock the scan. But there should be some limestone, which is a pure node, just behind this little path here, which is right here. As you know, this would normally be a limestone node, but now it is rubite. So we grab ourselves you and you, put you down, start grabbing them. Then we'll grab some of the ore uh, once the, that's been mining for a little bit. And then we can start grabbing uh, and making some concrete. So in the meantime, I'm just going to grab our usual biomass, which will be from the Oasis. Because, you know, it's kind of the most play, the, the, the place with the most foliage right now. So we're just going to grab as much of this, just holding E. And then we can start making some biomass so I can start powering the biomass burner which I believe we only have one or, uh, have at the minute at the back of our little hub. So as of right now, I can't obviously make um, biomass because we need to unlock it, but I'm just going to place some wood in there. We're going to get a power little pole, which I need screws. So let me quickly handcraft some blinking screws uh, like so. So you can see I've got some wood on a little bit of leaves over here. I like to mainly focus on wood collecting when it comes to... Um, grabbing the biomass it's just more you know reliable when it comes to the automation side of things um so let's get you up and then i'm just going to throw down a smelter uh, right here just so we can start throwing some stuff in manually so i can go into here and blah -de blah -de blah i do want to quickly back over here and get the rubite from these drills and then i can get that and start making can't afford recipe hold on a minute what do you need Stereotype ore for crushed stone. Oh, I need crushed stone. Hold on. Please hold. I need you. I don't need the rubite yet. See? Still learning. <laughs> so I need to get some of you and you and then break that down into the stone. Which I should now be able to go to here. Now make crushed. I can make 800 and then I can get that crushed stone and then turn it into concrete and then we can unlock the, uh, the 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 tree for the uh, the uh, yeah I'm trying to get my words out <laughs> trying to get my words out for the, uh, the 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 to the next milestone we got there eventually so we need 50 concrete uh, which we can do right now and then once we have that I can then throw everything we have in there to start the next hub phase. And then we can start working on hub upgrade 5, which we can see now we've got the modular miner, the metal mining head, the storage container, tin rods, tin wire, and more inventory slots. But we now need to make tin plates, and for tin plates, we're going to need the rubite. So I'm thinking we kind of maybe do a little bit of automation right now, a little bit. So we're going to need the crusher, but the crusher requires 10, 10 Aiden, don't speak when I'm speaking, it's rude. Um, so I want to throw in sloppy tin ingots right we've already picked up the rubite oh i need crusher damn i need to crush this so i'm going to crush this and then i'm going to throw that in there so we need crushed rubite i'm going to try and take this as slow as possible because i can understand it can be very confusing um i'm going to try and do my best so if i do go a little too fast i apologize so we're going to handcraft this crushed rubite and then we're going to throw a stack of that into here like so start turning that into tin ingots with a one-to-one -one ratio right here and then whilst that's happening i'm going to start crushing this down so i have more and then i can throw that into there and then i need to kind of set this next milestone to be honest so let's select that one i need to make some more uh i have the rods actually so let's throw what we already have that we have the rods we have the cables i don't have the concrete and we don't have the tin i do have the cables right yeah um, so now that we've got that, um, I want to just keep handcrafting these. 
And then I want to basically handcraft my concrete. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to quickly get a constructor out. I'm going to throw you down. We're going to connect you up to that little power grid. And then I'm also going to throw in concrete. And we need crushed stone for this, which we have technically one. So I need to go into here. I need to make a handful of you. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to throw that constructor in. Because obviously I can't put a, a crusher down right now. Because I need 10 tin plates. So we're going to put the crusher down. I'm going to get you going in here. So we're going to put the stone in there. Let that do its thing. And then we should be able to collect some tin ingots from here. That can then go into this uh, crafter. And then we can start making some tin plates. Which then in turn will allow me to make the crusher. But in fact I want 25 to go into the milestone to unlock that. And I've now just got to wait on the concrete which is currently being done. So in the meantime I'm going to get this crushed stone handcrafted. You've got to love the star to satisfactory, right? You're handcrafting a lot of things. Your factory is going to get a little messy. It's going to be very unoptimized because you don't have splitters or smart splitters or any form of tools, for example, when it comes to, you know, awesome sinks or load balances. Load balances are going to be essential and manifolds are not going to be as popular uh, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so we can now throw all that in there. We can then upgrade the hub. I mean, we can then start working on hub upgrade 6, which is now going to give us a wide range of items, which is the space elevator, as we know and love, the copper bus bars, the copper sheets, the iron sheet, tin sheet, automated biomass generators, which, as we know, this is becoming... Uh, this is going to be getting... Um, uh, this is going to be in 1.0. So we are finally uh, going to be getting one point, uh, in 1.0 biomass generators, which we can have conveyor belts going into. We can then start working on biomass, wind turbines, and we unlock the map. So let's select this. Let's store everything we have in there right now, which we can use. Um, and we're just going to need... Is that tin wire? That is tin wire. So I need to make tin wire, and I also need to make that uh, some more concrete. So the concrete, uh, we have 32 available. The tin ingots, we have, have 94. Hit it. Thank you. Appreciate it. The reason I'm skipping Ada as well, if some of you are wondering, because it is a modded playthrough, it is a little bit buggy. <laughs> she talks about things that aren't even in available right now. Um, so I want to make some more sloppy ingots right now. That means I can make some more tin plates. And in making more tin plates, I can then make... Uh, well, I can put that into our thing. I can also make tin rods now. Once we have tin rods, I can then make tin wire. And we need 50 tin wire for this milestone. So we can put that down. Like so. And then we can add boom, boom, and more concrete. Damn, I need 19 more. You got 19 for me? You do? Now. Bada bing, bada bosh. Beautiful. The timing. So now we can upgrade the next hub. And we should now get... Ava. I call her Ava. Not Ada. Ava. Congratulations. It's a, it's a long you have going meme. Building space and she's invisible. Building <laughs> biomass burner. Heart. Biomass. You gotta love mods. You gotta love mods. Right, Ava, uh, Ada. Shh. Right. This is where things get a little spicy. And something you guys pointed out when I did a highlight on this uh, mod a few, well, last year, is we can actually scroll along here now. And I didn't even realize this. So, yes, some of you pointed it out. And there's a lot of new things in here. So we're going to take our time to work our through this. So we have simple logistics, which is a simple conveyor belt, conveyor merger, and a conveyor splitter. As we know, a splitter and a merger, we know these. But a simple conveyor belt is something a little different. It's not a belt you put down to, you know, use as a logistical thing. It's actually a buildable piece that we actually need to make, like, Mark II belts and all this kind of good stuff. The next thing is we have glass walls, which we're going to need sand for. We're going to need to put some more of this stuff in here. Better conveyors, which is conveyor belt marks two. Uh, conveyor lifts two. Stackable conveyor poles. Chainsaws, which I kind of want to head to straight away so we can get some solid biofuel. Base building, because we need foundations, because 
Yes, I'm not like some people who like to do mass amounts of tornadoes and random factories just floating in space. That is not me. If, <laughs> if that is you, I frown upon you, sir, or ma'am, or them. And uh, with research, we have the MAM, we have the personal storage box or object scanner, improved manufacturing, the assembler, lead sheets and rotors, uh, and ore sorting. We have the sorter, which gives us crushed tin, tin ingots, lead ingots and lead plates. But I'm going to stop going through this right now because a lot of you who are new to this might start getting a little overwhelmed and a little bit distracted or confused. So we're only going to work on the things we are going to work on at the current time because i don't want to overwhelm myself and i don't want to overwhelm you guys so we have just run out of here so we have concrete out of there have i got any more i could just throw in i do not and then also we have the tin so let's pull that out of there also are we run out of power uh no we're still kind of good i do kind of want to turn that into biomass though which we're going to do right now which i want some biomass wood we'll turn all of this and then once i've done this I can take the wood out of there, and then I can replace it with the biomass, so it's a little bit more efficient. Then we've also got a second one now, uh, as we know from kind of like the vanilla playthrough. Uh, so now we are making a good a good little bit of power, technically. Uh, I am going to connect that one up to there as well, so we have enough. But currently, we're making 40 megawatts, which we kind of expected. Uh, obviously, we don't have any more items to throw into here. I do have some. I don't think I've got any more. I don't. I could cr crush that rubite down into um, some more crushed rubite so I can get it done, which I am going to. And then once we've done that, we can then start looking at some automation, which is what we want to basically get to, right? So let me just throw the rest of this in here because we are going to need some foundations. I think that's the first thing uh, I want. Oh, I need to make. I want my. Oh, I need to put the root in here, in here. This one. This one bits. Oh my god! I took it out. I don't want to take it out. There we go. Boom! Bada bing, bada bosh. Right. So what we're going to want to do is now that we've got that, we've got these modular miners, and you've noticed we've now got metal mining heads. And if we look here, attached to the modular miner, depending on the level, the amount of material that is extracted changes. Some ores require a certain tier. Increase the power required by the modular miner. Quantity per turn is a per run is two, and it costs 2.5 megawatts. So we are going to get a miner. So let's add that to our little build list. We are going to need a mining head, and we're going to need a crusher. So if we put a crusher down, I well, actually can't because I need bloody tin plates. So let me quickly handcraft a couple of tin plates real quick. And then we can look down at what this does. So let me put you down. And this is something you might be familiar with. This is something I obviously put on the thumbnail of the previous video. And this is a crusher. So we have two items that can go in. And then we also have two items come out, which is very unusual for satisfactory, especially if you're new, uh, if you're new to the game, because Having a machine that gives you byproducts straight away uh, is definitely different. So right in here, we can get crushed iritite, crushed serifite, and crushed rubite. So if we do iron, uh, we can see it needs 60 per minute, which we already know that the miner up there is going to give us, which is going to give us 60 crushed iritite, but also six, uh, 20 crushed stone. So for every ore that we put down, we are going to get stone anyway. So that's where our concrete is going to come from. So let's remove this real quick because we are going to need to put down a miner. But actually, I do want to check to see if I can make foundations yet. So if we head in here and look at base building, we can nearly can. So we need screws. We need a lot more concrete. I need to go and get a lot more concrete with screws. We can easily make screws because I've got quite a bit of uh, what's it called on me right now. So I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get some more concrete done and then I'll get back to you once I've got, I think, enough materials to build our first automation line. Okay, so I'll put a rough estimate what I think we need down. We are going to need to pick these up as well because I need to use these for the miner. And we are going to use the world grid. So let me 
quickly activate the base building by throwing the concrete in there, the screws in there. Boom. Activate. Bada bing, bada bosh. Base building done. Um, and now that we've got that, we can then start putting our foundations down. So I am going to go for the world grid for now, which I can just, as you know, if you know that it, this is in vanilla. So if we hold control... Wait, what do I need that for? What is that? I need iron sheets to make foundations. Oh my god. We need more things. How do I make iron sheets? Iron sheets is made from plates. Okay. So, time for me to do some more handcrafting of this. But I don't want to use too much because I want to make, make sure I've got enough plates for other stuff that I need. So, keep on doing this and then we should be good. I could even also quickly handcraft loads of crushed stone and I can just put in this constructor next to me to get more concrete because we are going to need quite a bit but mainly I need the iron sheets okay so let's try this again we're going to put the foundation down now we'll hold control now we've got the sheets and we're going to place that down in here make sure zoop mode's on like so and then hello there we go put you down there you down there and then we're just going to build a platform out uh, let's say in this direction. Obviously, we're not going to do any form of underflooring. We're not going to do any form of, I would say, design. Uh, we're going to try and, you know, keep things clean as best as of uh, my abilities with the tools that we have at our disposal. But we're just going to... Oh my god, I'm already out of... I, I knew it. I knew I would run out of plates, making all them blinking uh, iron sheets. So... Guess what? I'm going back to do some handcrafting to make some plates, which I can't. Oh my. Oh, I need to. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So I need to remove this, go into here, and then put these back. Oh, uh, 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 and put them back down so I can get more stereotype. And then, then I can handcraft them into more iron. So this is where we need iron first and foremost. And I'm, by the looks of this, from the recipes that we're requesting as well, tin might be the thing we're going to need next. But it won't be a priority soon because obviously we're going to need copper as well. So I'm going to get some more iron done, get some more plates, and then we can start the first automation. Right. So let's try this again. Let's put down our first miner. So we're going to try and keep this as clean as possible. It will look a little messy until later down the line, like I said, until we get our tools to start playing around with some stuff. So this is our miner. So let's have a look in this. We can see it's got two outputs and there's got two items in here and each output is going to be given us three, uh, 30 per minute. If, uh, cause obviously three minutes, you know, be six, uh, no power missing module. So if we actually grab our module, we can actually attach that to our mining head. Ignore the fuse broken down side sound. It just happens every time you do one of these, even though we still have power down there. Now that we've got this, we can now see, you know, our full. We can see we've got normal, 100%, 30-30. So it is a normal node we are currently sat on. And we can see some other functions here. We can see function drill, function fluid, function crusher, function energy, function energy 2, function energy 3, and function smelter, which is something we're going to play with later down the line so let's not worry about it too much but i thought i'll just show you the ui of what's happening here we can see the standby on mod bada bing bada bosh so we are going to get these so it, it does mean we have two lines of iron going to be coming out but i do want to merge them and right now we don't have the splitters and mergers so let's head back to our hub to see what it needs and costs us to actually unlock them so let's head in here simple logistics we are going to need 100 tin sheets and I have just enough iron sheets after what we've just made. So with tin sheets, uh, we actually can make them. I actually need 100 of them, which actually won't take us that long. And then that we've got them, I just want to make more iron sheets because I feel like... Well, iron's going to be the first thing we're going to kind of 100% focus on to make sure that we make one of every item. Meaning, I want us to make sure we are... Uh, making crushed stone, making iron ingots, making screws, iron plates, iron rods, iron sheets, and iron wire. 
We're not going to be able to make the reinforced iron plates yet. Because obviously we're going to need uh, assemblers for that. Uh, but let's go back into here now. Uh, better con no, simple logistics. And select the milestone. Throw these in here. Unlock that. Which gives us the ability to make mergers and splitters. And obviously, as you can tell, the recipes for these have changed. And they require that conveyor belt I told you about. So we're going to our handcrafting now. We can scroll to the bottom and we can see simple conveyor belts, which require reinforced plates and tin sheets. So we need to make more tin sheets to make sure we have enough simple conveyors. Hence the reason I said I think tin sheets are going to be something we're going to need quite a bit of early game because we're going to need it to make Mark II belts. We're going to need it to make the splitters, the mergers. Because uh, obviously, as you know, I like to do a lot of manifold lines and all that kind of good stuff. So we want to make sure we've got enough tin sheets. And then I want to make a handcraft, a handful of these simple conveyor belts to keep in my inventory. So we can get some things moving. Because obviously we're going to need it for the mergers and splitters for now. Until we need Mark II. So back up at the miner. We're going to grab ourselves a merger. And we're just going to place this down in this general direction. Uh, and then we're just going to add... I don't think that's actually going to squeeze there. It's not. Just because this miner is not on the grid. Yes, I can align this miner on the grid to make sure it is even. And this kind of wiggly thing doesn't happen. But right now, I don't have the tools because I do need the awesome shop to unlock like the barriers and all this kind of stuff to play around with. So, for now, it's just going to be how everybody else would do it. Which we just attach it in there. Yeah, the belt won't be fully straight. And neither will this one. We can finally add that into there. And then from here, we can decide on what needs to happen. So as we know, we have the miner. It's then going to go into a crusher. So it's going to be 60 per minute. And we are going to do styrotite. And it requires 60 per minute. And it's going to output 60 and 20. So we're just going to put this, I think, just on a straight up line here. Like so. We're going to get you to directly go into this machine. And then what we need to figure out next is which... Uh, output is it going to come out of so we are making crushed stereotype so where is crushed stereotype coming to come out of is it going to be out this output or this output and where is the stone going to come out of so i'm just going to place a belt down like this and place a belt down here i want to get the power and we're just going to connect this up to our grid which i can't because i need to remove that now bring you onto here bring you onto there attach another one just down there like that Things get a little messy early game. And yes, it annoys me. We can also daisy chain these crusher buildings. So I can actually grab this and connect it to the miner. And now that we have that, the miner's then going to start doing its work. And if you remember, or if, you, if you've been playing Satisfactory for a while, at one stage throughout development of early access, these was actually the official ore that got um, tested at one point. Uh, and they looked absolutely terrible, but this mod is actually using them. Right. So as our little science test is now complete here, we can see that the styrotite, crushed styrotite, is coming out the left side, and the stone is coming out the right, which is good for us, because it means we don't have to focus on smart splitters straight off the bat. Because if this was one output, it would mean that the uh, styrotite and crushed stone could possibly have come out one exit of one output. And we would have had to use a smart splitter to start splitting it off in the directions it needs to go to. Which means we'll need to go down the Caterium branch if that is what we have in the game. Which I doubt they're going to have Caterium. It's probably going to be something else. So now that we have this, we can start planning on where we want our smelters. And we have a little bit of a runway here. So what I'm going to do is we are outputting 60. Uh, and each smelter is going to require 30. As we know. And then we're going to work back to front, as you know, like we do with Satisfactory, right? Everything is better if you want to make clean builds, is build back to front. So now that we have this, this is going to be outputting 30 per minute on iron ingots. We're then going to put a constructor down and check the recipes we want to make. So we are going to want to make iron plates, and that requires 30 per minute. So that's a one-to-one -one ratio to our smelter. So we're going to grab our constructor, and we're going to place that right there with a straight belt from there to there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. On this side, we are going to need a splitter because we do need to split the 60 coming out of the crusher. So 30 is going to go into there. And then we're going to remove this belt. 
and take this along here. I'm going to take it around to the back into that one. And then, if I'm not mistaken, which I don't think I am, um, it's going to require two constructors here for rods. Because if we look at the rods, they're going to require 15. And obviously, 15, uh, 30 divided by 2 is 15, uh, 15, right? If, what did I just say? 30 divided by 2 is 15. Yeah. So we're going to need one smelter, which is going to go directly in the middle here. We're going to make sure it lines up to this one. We're going to put that there. And then we're going to grab ourselves a splitter and place that, like, right here. That can then go right in there. So 30 is coming on the output. 15 is going to go along this way. And 15 is going to go along this way. Your simple, satisfactory stuff. But I want to make sure we go all over all these recipes. The reason being... The recipes have changed, right? So, yes, it might seem a little tedious or me speaking in baby language to a lot of you experienced players who play Satisfactory because there has been some things that uh, that are coming up where I'm like, okay, I kind of know the ratios for these, but then I got it totally wrong because the mod actually changes the recipe instead, right? So this is going to be mixture of iron rods. This one's going to be iron rods. This is going to be plates. We can just directly get this one to go straight into the machine itself. So we're going to do that. Put you into there. And then we're just going to make sure we've got sloppy iron ingots selected in that. And selected in this. We might have a power outage right now. It wouldn't surprise me. And then we got in the power things. We are going to try and keep these as tidy as possible. And I kind of like to aim in this location. The reason being that the power pull kind of goes up and sits next to the actual output of the uh, machine. So we're going to put that there, like that, and connect you up, like so. And then we're just going to connect this to a this one over here. So there's the U. I'm just going to connect you to that. And U to there. And then this one to this. Amex, we're going to need to put some biomass burners down. So connect you to the U connect you to you and connect you to you something i've i think i've shown it on the uh, the youtube videos before but i've also got a mod installed called sky ui and what this mod does this is something i've always used in vanilla as well i always use this for just because it allows for visibility just for you guys i don't want it to be switching to nighttime to daytime nighttime to daytime during the cuts for your youtube exper viewing experience right so i always like to set it around midday and then I'll just go down here and pause it. And even even when I'm playing a vanilla playthrough, I like to have that as well. Because, like I said, you guys don't want to see me going nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime in every cut. It just wouldn't be a nice little experience for you guys. So, um, that's the mod I use for constant daylight. It helps me when I go to take photos or thumbnails. I can quickly go into here. And if I want this to be have like a, maybe like a nice sunset in the background or something... I can just kind of play around with this uh, and I can just go pause, go into here, go into photo mode and then play around with the FOV in here and, you know, Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. So now we can go back over to the normal time of day. So we're just going to pause it there and we can just kind of st stick in this. Um, so now, now we've got this going, we're not going to make it any more styrotite because inside here is going to fill up with crushed stone, right? So if crushed styrotite gets full up like it has done here it's not going to produce any more crushed stone very much like how refineries work in vanilla so byproducts will get blocked if the other product is full on capacity so now that we have these here we are going to get this attachment bring it along here connect you to there then going to remove that one and i want to connect you to that and we're going to connect you to that i do believe we are going to run out of power uh, consumption is 17.6. Your 2, 2, 4, 4, and 4. Actually, no, we should just be fine. Maybe. Our production is... Or our max consumption, sorry, is 35.6. So all of our machines turned on is 35.6. Our current production is 25.4. As you can see right here, 25.4. And capacity is 41. So we are... You know, we've, we've got a, about 4.5... Uh, what's worth of additional power. So I do want to kind of add that. But now 
we can see we have plates coming out of here. We have rods coming out of here and rods coming out of here. And now that we've got this, why are you not making plates? Did I set the recipe? I did not. Like that. So now what we want to look at is we want to look at the additional stuff. So we are making more rods than we need to. We're making 15 rods here, 15 rods here. Yes, I could merge these if I wanted to, but I'm going to take advantage that we have got two additional uh, constructors here. Uh, this one's not got power. Did I not set this up? Oh my God, I've just left the plates hanging. So next up, let's get another constructor. Let's see what else we can do. Screws. Screws require 20 iron rods per minute, which we can do with some a little bit of load balancing. We can also look at iron sheets. Iron sheets require 20 plates. We are currently making 20 plates. So if I was to put a constructor in front of this, we are going to make the iron sheets, but we're not going to make any iron plates. And iron plates we do need. So we can't really make the iron sheets right now. I'd rather make the iron plates and then handcraft the iron sheets as a temporary solution um, so then we can make sure we're keeping order of iron plates. So iron plates are going to go into a storage. So we're going to do that. And then with these iron rods, what I'm going to do, we're going to make screws because screws are needed for foundations. So the screw recipe requires 20 screws. So we're just going to remove these two belts here that I've just placed down as a little showcase for what they are. We're then going to get a merger like so. We're going to merge these two lines, which will then equal a 30 line, right? So this now coming out of here is a 30 line. We now need to split this into 20. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to place a splitter down here, just like this. And I'm going to get a constructor and I'm just going to place it here, like so. I could technically, if I wanted to, grab myself a belt out of there, belt out of there, belt out of there to make it a three-way, merge two belts together to make a 20 line and a 10 line additional. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it as an overflow. So this right now, what I've got here is a 15 is going to come out of this side and 15 is going to go out of that side, right? Um, this needs 20 per minute. So I'm okay right now with this being slightly unoptimized. But what I'm going to do is to help it a little bit and I'm going to connect them up and then we're going to put down the storage containers so I'm going to go into here open the storage container and I'm just going to place this down there I'm going to place another one down here and another one down here the reason I'm putting three is because obviously we've got three items right we have rods coming out of here which are going to go into that we've got plates coming out of here which I'm just going to bring out up to there and then up to here. So plates in there and then screws directly into that one. So rods are going in there. So this is now sending rods at 15 per minute. And because it's because it doing that, this is not going to have what it needs to. So we need to make sure we set this up here. Like so. And then I'm going to connect you to you. Okay. So let's get them going. So the easiest thing for me to do right now, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. But I'm thinking just of the, the, the longevity here, right? Like I just said, I could easily put a merger here to make a 30 line, right? I can then put a splitter here and then get three Mark 1 belts. One going out the left, one going out the front, one going out the right. I could then get a merger here in the middle. And I can get this belt that comes out here to swing around going into that merger. And then this going into this merger, right? So if I bring this splitter out three ways, it's going to be oh, 10 rods that way. 10 rods that way, 10 rods that way. But if I merge two lines together, that'd be 20. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to leave it the way it is. As screws technically are making 50 per minute, right? It's making quite a bit per minute compared to what the rest are. So I'm okay right now with this being unoptimized. And yes, it will stop with iron rods. So as a temporary solution, I'm just going to throw rods in there, right? And it will maybe, it will kind of like force the rods to come, come this way for now. Or the other solution is I could just get some biomass. I can go into here and start splitting all of this like so. And the reason I'm doing this is because within Satisfactory right now, there is no way of locking your storage um, to an item, right? 
So if I want only three stacks of iron, I can't just go into here and disable all of these slots. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just putting biomass in there to fill up this storage. So only iron rods will fill up here for three, right? I could do it like that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the running away. It is. That's going to be an optimized. We're fine with what we've got. But then we need to start working on the other stuff, which we need another miner. We're going to need another crusher and more smelters. So we have this one right here. So we're going to place this uh, another miner, which is another normal node. And then we're going to bring in the crusher, another one. And then we're going to start optimizing this a little bit more. So I'm going to get right back to you once I've figured out and played around with some stuff. And then we'll go from there. Right. So as you can tell, after a little bit of jigging around, I've now changed some things up. We've got an additional miner. We've also got an additional crusher, an additional two smelters, and an additional four, no, additional three constructors. But then you might notice as well, we've also got a little production line for the stone. So regarding the stone, we, we already know the crushers are giving out 20 stone per minute. So I've just got the stone. So this is then going over here, and it's then merging into this merger, meeting the stone from this one, equaling 40 in total. <laughs> And then I've got a constructor down. Obviously, it requires 60, so it is unoptimized. I can't underclock or anything yet. And uh, I've not brought in any other additional crushed stone. So we've got 40 crushed stone per minute, making some concrete, which then goes into this storage. So very simple setup, just literally 20 into one merger. This goes out and over, over this styrite that comes out of here. And uh, why are you not powered? What's going on? Oh my God, I didn't even set the recipe. There we go. So that is now turned on, and then, yeah, we can see that's going to get merged. So there's technically was 20 going in here, but now, now, now there's 40. And then uh, I've added the additional smelters. Obviously, just basically doubled the production of what we had because we brought in an additional miner. I've also put the um, these back here, so we've got a bit of a ramp going up. Uh, and I do now need to sort the screws out. I need to sort the plates out. And I need to start the sheets out. So I do need to... Oh, I need more sheets. I need more sheets. God damn it. Okay, there we go. So now we can extend the foundation a little bit further. Like so. And then we can extend what we need to extend for more constructors. Right, so as we know, we already know this is plates. This one's plates. Rods, 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 and rods. So... What we're going to do is with this N1, as we know, if we put another constructor in front of it, we can then make this a one-to-one -one ratio for iron sheets. So if we do iron sheets, it requires 20 iron plates. This one's going to give us 20 iron plates. And then we're just going to go into there, bada bing, bada bosh. This can then go into storage. So this right here is iron plates. Done. This one here is iron plates. Done. Uh, line them up. Oh my god, hello. Nope, nope, nope. We do that one. This one can be rods. This one can be rods. This can be uh, wire and screws, I guess. So what we do need to do is we need to look at the uh, iron wire. So iron wire requires 15 iron rods. So what we could do for that is we could do a... We're going to merge these two lines here. Uh, let's get this out like that. Connect you in there. We're going to connect you into there. We're then going to get a splitter. We're going to put a splitter here, just like we did before. You into there. We're then going to get a constructor. We're going to place that here. And this is going to be for the screws. So we're going to make this as screws. We're going to make sure that's in there. So 15 is going to go into there. Technically, right now, it's 30, because we're bringing 30 out of these machines, right? So 15 out of here, 15 out of there. Merge together to make 30, and so on and so forth. What I'm going to do next is I'm then going to get another merger, and I'm going to place that right here. I'm going to get another constructor, place that to here. And as we know, this right now, oh, is technically going to be 15 coming out of here, like so, and then going into there. But I also want to merge this one together. So right here is I want to do a splitter, like that. I'm going to bring the 15 out of here, and it's going to connect to this merger here. 
this will backlog. This will be a stationary line, okay? So, I'm making this, this way more complicated than it needs to be. But we're doing 15 out of there, 15 out of there. That's then going into 30. This then means 15 is going into here. Technically, we will push 20. And then this will come out of here. What we want to make sure is the... Yeah, yeah. do you know what? I'm just going to make this way much simpler than it needs to be. Because I'm going to end up confusing you. So I'm going to actually load balance this whole system. Just like I said before, right? So we're going to merge these two lines here. We're going to split these here. And then I'm going to put another merger in front here, right? Like that. I'm then going to get this belt to swing around here. We're going to put a belt in the middle of here. And we're going to get a belt to go that way, right? So now we have 10 going that way, 10 going that way, 10 going that way. These, this 10 is going to merge with this 10, giving this 20. So then we're going to put down our constructor here. Hello. Like so. That means 20 is going into there. Now we have... Uh, 10 coming out this way. Right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to get down a, another merger. We're going to place that here. Like so. We're then going to connect that to that merger. And then we're going to grab this merger to connect to this one. This then's going to go into here. Like so. And you're going to connect to this constructor where you're going to make iron wire at 15 rods per minute. Even though it's a one-to-one. -one. And then we have this splitter, which is going to merge with this line. You're going to go into there, like so. You're going to connect into this one, and then you're going to go into storage. Like so. Oh, hello. Nice. So now we've got iron sheets, which will be coming out of here, which we've set. We just now need to get power onto this. Like so. Connect you to you. Now we're making iron sheets as a one-to-one -one ratio. Then we've got plates coming out of here at 30 per minute. Then we have rods coming out of here at 15 per minute. Then we have the rods coming along here. I didn't want to connect that to that one. I wanted to connect you to you. There you go. This one then will be rods. So we're just going to grab you and place you there. And then we're going to place you there. Connect you to you. And then we're going to connect you to you. You're now powered. We just need to make sure this is making screws. And then... Bob's our uncle. And there we have it. We've now got our basic iron setup. As you can tell, I've already got it all rerouted going into storage. And things are just looking semi-okay. And yes, as you can tell, I did change all the screws and all that kind of recipes. And I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit because it was, it was a mess. And then, yes, we did increase the power by just doing your normal, standard, what you would do in vanilla with your solid biomass setup. Which means we've got a storage for wood, a storage for leaves, where then I'll manually insert them into the correct containers. Then the con uh, the constructors here will go and make biomass. So we have one making 120 per minute, one making 60 per minute, because obviously the wood recipe is a lot more uh, richer than the leave recipe. That then makes its way into these two constructors, where it makes solid biomass, where it merges together, where it comes along here to make our um, power through the belt systems that are added to the mod with the inputs of the uh, biomass burners. And then if we check our power, we can see we have a max consumption of 95.2 when all of our machines are optimal. But right now we have a capacity of 120.2 megawatts. That's because each biomass burner gives us 30 megawatts of power. And then we've got our basic, basic iron setup. And as you can tell, I've already started putting the foundations down for our next product, which will be the copper, but I'm not going to do that until next video. So thank you so much for watching, and make sure to check out my other content right here. And as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.